to the novice viewer, stock car racing might seem like a bunch of drivers going fast in circles, but in reality, there's a heck of a lot more to it than that. And we're going to show you next on Zero to 60 TV by LeapCars.com. Hold it out a little bit, and then we need to get down to this wall. <laughs> Joining me on Zero to 60 TV is Daniel Von Cannon. He is uh, the driver of the number 50 Chevy in LeapCars.com late model series here at Wake County Speedway. And Daniel, i got to thank you so much for having us out here to the Speedway today, man. It's good to see you, Mark. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> good to see you. Now, we uh, first met Daniel a couple years ago here at the Speedway, and we interviewed you before the race uh, that night. And you know, it's pretty evident that, you know, Daniel, you're in your Von Cannon team here uh, with the number 50 Camaro. Yeah, you know, you, you guys know what it takes to be a successful uh, driver and team in the late model series at, at Wick County, but I guess, you know, first up, what, what drives you to come out here on Friday nights and get in that seat and race this car? Well, I, it's just, it's in our blood, man. I mean, my daddy drove till I was a teenager and something I always wanted to do, and we just really enjoy it. The atmosphere, the friends and family to get involved, and. The fans, it's just um, it's just a real cool experience and a good thing to enjoy. Now, what would you say you think would surprise, you know, most people, maybe that don't follow racing that much, right? What would surprise them the most about what it takes to drive one of these cars on the, on the race, especially a small track like White County Speedway? Uh, just the, the time and effort it takes to keep up with the car, to work on the car, learning the balance and the timing and the setup of the car and having good people behind you to support you and um, come out here and, and work on it and be part of the team and you know enjoy the, enjoy the fellowship and time together at the shop. Now, Daniel uh, has agreed to give me a few pointers today, which we're gonna show you, on how to drive a late model series race car uh, at Wake County Speedway. And, and like I mentioned, I mean, Wake County Speedway is on your smaller size of, of short tracks. It's a quarter mile paved track. It first opened in 1962 as a, as a dirt track. They paved it in the late 80s. Uh, but I don't know, how much does this race car weigh? Uh, 31, 25. So you got, you know, a, a 31 and change pound yeah. race car that's, that's pretty, it's like the size of a mid-size yeah. car. Yeah. It's about the size of our Dodge Challenger yeah. sitting over there. And, and you're wheeling this thing around this narrow yeah, at times tight. race yeah, track. What does tight. that feel like? Well, it's just it's a lot of fun. It's real racy. There's a particular line you got to run, um, but it to be as small as it is, as it is, it's it's pretty fast, and it's just there ain't much like it. Now today, and, and Dana, are you teaching me how to drive this thing in, in, <laughs> in a minute here? It's just going to be me, which is uh -huh. fine. Right. That's good. All yeah. right. But I'm when you have a radio on, so you well, well yeah. that's good. It's communication. Yeah. But when you're racing, how many other drivers are out here with you? Because you got you got some some war yeah, damage yeah, here on the side. You know, at least 10, 15, depending on the night and who shows up. But yes, I mean that's typical Wake County marks right there. So yeah. And it's, it's a, I mean, you get around here and practice is one thing, but you get out there with other cars, it's it's a trip. So Daniel, I do have a little bit of previous experience on a race car doing uh, the NASCAR driving experience out in Charlotte a few years ago uh, in one of their retired, you know, Cup cars. But this is a little bit different. This is a late model car. Uh, how much power is your race car putting that at? That uh, I mean, this is a base 350 Chevrolet. Um, it's what they call a spec motor these days. It's got about 420 plus with a small carburetor. Uh, but for this place, it's got some get up to it. It's probably got a lot more power than you can even use out here. Yeah, right? yeah. It depends on your gear and your setup. So yeah, I mean, you can get you can get in trouble with too much out here because it's such a tight, small track. And Wake County Speedway, this is a NASCAR home track. So you guys are racing for points in a in a weekly series. And you don't just race at Wake County, right? You, right. You get out to some other tracks. Yeah, we try to go here and there at least once a month somewhere else and see what we got. We got another car that's a little newer than this and. I mean, we just enjoy it, man. So we'll go here and there and learn and try to run up front and compete. Now, how about steering this thing? Mm -hmm. Is it no power or do you have power no, steering? No, it's got power steering. Here's the power steering box, um, pump, and yes, yeah, just there's several different options you can go with as far as your ratios. But um, yeah, I mean, it's got power. It's pretty easy to steer when the motor's crunk up. And, now, what, what about the angle this wheel is at? Because I haven't seen that before. That's the camera, part of the setup. That's um, that's what 
makes it turn left. And under load, I mean, once you get down in the corner, it stands up, so you get more contact to the asphalt. So it actually yep. kind of kind of writes itself. Yep. Now, what do I need to do in case a fire breaks out, Dana? Uh, <laughs> well, if I was you, I would just try to get out. Uh, but if, you, if you're kind of stuck, then you need to you need to pull that red button over there. Pull the red button. Yeah, on the oh, side I see it. It yeah. says fire. Yeah. Makes the, it obvious yeah, what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what about your um, your gauges down here? Because this is not like a street car. You don't have a speedometer. So what are the gauges that you're looking at as a driver? Uh, the only thing I really am concerned with most time is just your oil pressure gauge. And most importantly to me is my water temp gauge mm -hmm. and make sure the motor don't get hot because I've run into that a few times. Now just, you know, taking some practice laps, mm -hmm. which we're going to do uh, here today. I'm not having to worry about oil pressure, no, or, no, 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 no. unless no, something, yeah, no, you're you know, broke on the no, car. I mean, you're good to go. And I see the needle drop, yeah. then I'll then I'll just shut it down. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, you'll be fine. So we're gonna do a couple of things before I get in here because there's still a little bit more instruction, right? right. Especially when I get in that driver's seat. Uh, let's take the Challenger out. We got our friends here at Leith Wendell. Uh, so we're gonna get out there, and you're gonna show me the best place to put the, the car, or later the race car, on the track, like how to find a line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right there. Is that right? Uh, I want to hit my left side right there. Even closer? And then, and then let it come on out to about that light pole. What light pole? That this one, one or this one? This one. That one? Yeah. And then I'm kind of... High. Yeah. And then, and then probably... When you cut. Yeah. I kind of slow down and then... then hold it out a little bit and then we need to get down to this wall and then you need to you need How to be low, low 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 because right this because this right. sends you up you, you're shooting straight out of that scoreboard shoots you the up the higher you exit to yeah the freer it's gonna be well so let me answer this are you touching the brake oh yeah some you got to and okay i try to hit that even lower it, and then let it float out right here oh yeah all right i'm just gonna get up a little speed here now, what happens when I see you guys spinning out down here, like trying, in practice? Trying to get all you can get. So is it just yeah. too much for the car? Yeah. For the rear? Yeah. And it swings out? Yeah. All right. You probably drive closer to the wall than that, don't you? Oh, yeah. Well, I can't hit this water. That's me, as close as I can get right there. Me and my... Right? Yeah, me and this track, we got a, we got a, um, a thing going on. If I don't come out here and touch her a little bit, on the back stretch, <laughs> she gets ill with it. <laughs> it's hard, man. It's a, like I said, there's a, it's a one, uh, to be fast, you got to get down, get down. Now, boom, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to take a little easier in your race. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like you got, you just about got to hit that wall. Woo. All right, I'm going to take her in. Is that cool? <laughs> All right, Mark, let me show you how to get in this thing. You remember how, from your experience? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> All right. Just put one leg in, sit down, put the other in, grab the bars and slide on in. You think you got it? Got it. There you go. Man, the seat is. Snug. Snug. That's safe, bro. That's safe. I know. It's not, I forgot. I'm already hot in here. <laughs> you good? Man. You man. ready to get buckled up? There's my mirror. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So, what's your hand? This one. Put this here. That one. And then one up here. Pull him to make you feel comfortable. You know what I mean? All right, well, that actually feels all right. Right there. All right, you hear me? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I got you. All right, so in an emergency, if I had to get out of this thing real fast, 
Pop that. Yep. Pop that to what? To the right? No, come straight up this way to your left. Make sure you pull your steering wheel off. And how does that come off? Right there. How does that come off? Right there. Pull it. Oh, you pop Yeah. It. So basically, when I get out there, I'm going to get it up to fourth and leave it in fourth. Yes. Just use the brake. Yeah. So it's not going to bog down. Nope. Nope. You race it and you run it in fourth gear. You don't ever change gears until you pull it in the pits. Okay, gotcha. And that'll be when I'm pulling back in. Okay. Yeah, and if you got some speed going into the corner, don't hit the clutch because it'll loop you around. Good to know. <laughs> Let's just do it. You'll be fine. Okay. You ready? All right. All right, you got the clutch. What'd you think? Uh, I think that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was easy. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. I appreciate that. But could you tell I was starting to feel yeah. it just a little oh, bit? Oh yeah, yeah, it takes a little time. Hey, two or three more times, you have it down pat. There you go, Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Daniel, I can't thank you enough for letting me drive your race car out there. That was freaking awesome. I'm so glad y'all were here today, Mark. I uh, really enjoyed it, and I thought you did a phenomenal job. I did all right? Yeah, yeah, I thought you did. A couple more times, and you'd, be, <laughs> you'd have it down pat. Uh, I want to thank uh, Charlie Hanson, Mr. Brown, the team at Wake County Speedway, too, very much for uh, letting us come out here and do laps at the Speedway, uh, racing on Friday nights throughout the summer into September each year. 
And uh, I want to thank our friends at Leaf Wendell for uh, use of the Dodge Challenger. So Daniel, this is your car. I would love to see you drive it. Got you.